The ocean. It spans across the majority of the planet's surface. It is central to the livelihoods and health of billions of people. and home to countless marine species. We always boast about the richness of our ocean, but how rich is it really? We know the ocean is rich. That fact somehow was interpreted as a free pass for exploitation. We take, we consume, we seize, and we ravage our natural resources. To our credit, we did remember to take a step back. It is so decided. With the UN's official adoption on Friday of 17 goals for ending extreme poverty, fighting protection. inequality, biodiversity protection, these cannot be left for too long. In recent years, various commitments have been established, such as the Sustainable Development Goals, 30 by 30, the Aichi Biodiversity Targets, and other effective area-based conservation measures. The international governments aim to expand marine protected areas and improve their effectiveness by strengthening their management, human resources capacity, and by realizing sustainable funding for conservation and restoration. These are all done to ensure the sustainability of marine resources and the blue economy. But before all that, we need a baseline. Ocean accounts are a structured compilation of information regarding marine and coastal environments. It is a way to organise data to describe the complexities of the environmental and economic systems in our oceans. It serves as a vital instrument to support marine spatial planning, marine protected areas and fisheries management. Ocean accounts are regularly compiled, consisting of integrated and comparable data on ecosystem conditions, economic activities, and social circumstances. These accounts include seven components. Ecosystem assets, flows to the economy, flows to the environment, ocean economy, ocean governance, combined presentation, and ocean wealth. To compile these accounts, field data should be obtained through environmental surveys and stakeholder interviews. The data is acquired on a certain time interval to represent the opening and closing of accounts. 
To analyze the data, ecosystem extent and spatial zonations are delineated. The flows of liquid and solid waste are then assessed. And the economic valuation of ecosystems are calculated. These accounts, both physical and monetary combined, become a baseline to inform marine policies. By knowing the values of marine resources, we can manage them better. Sustainability is not an option, it's an obligation for us and for the future generations. So let's keep it that way. Thank you.